Welcome to Instant Replay presented by Cheese It. Our heads may be spinning, Bobby, after that insane conference semifinal second leg between the Portland Timbers and Seattle Sounders, but we got to do this, and we start in the 18th minute. Liam Ridgewell sees the ball carry him off his arm in the box. Jeremy Rupo says, no PK, VAR Chris Pinso agrees. What do you think? I think we should just make a handball rule that's an actual rule, and referees don't make it up as they go, but I'm okay with this one not being called a penalty kick. Agreed. The rule can be confusing, and that's definitely not a PK. Now let's go to the 95th minute of extra time. Here comes Laris Maviala, and uh, it looks like it hits his arm. The Sounders think it hits his arm. Is it a PK? It's unclear if it hits his arm, but even if it does, his arm is within his body. Another good no call. Yeah, he has no time to react. If you look closely, I actually think it hits his chest, then his arm. Good job, Marufo and Pinso. 96 minute, this time it is a PK, according to Jerry Marufo. Sebastian Blanco with his hands up. Ozzy Alonso wants it, he gets it, wasn't rightfully given. Nobody knows because there's no real handball rule, but Blanco's arm is away from his body, so I'm okay with this one being called a penalty kick. It's so close. I kind of didn't want it to be called, but then you'll get his arms. They're up, they're out. Yeah, okay, fine, that's a PK. Now, this one is maybe the most interesting call of the night. It's the 113th minute. The Sounders desperately want a goal, and the ball goes in the back of the net, Bobby, but when you rewind this back, it's pretty clear that it comes off Maviala, on Raul Ruiz Diaz's arm, and then into the back of the net. That's got to be called back, and it is, but it's kind of weird, yeah? Yeah, that one's a cruel one. If that had happened to a defender in the box, we would have said play on, because Rui Diaz didn't really know anything about it, and the ball barely traveled before it hit his hand. But it happened to an attacker, and the ball went in the goal on the next bounce, so it feels like that shouldn't be allowed. I'm perfectly fine with Marufo calling this back. Yeah, man, Raul Rui Diaz gained the ultimate advantage, and you cannot let this one stand. What a crazy game. What a crazy night. Let us know what you think of our calls and those made on the field. We'll see you on Sunday, everybody.